hello to all our year nine pupils, parents and carers who are watching this video now. We hope you find it really useful in helping you to select your options choices. This marks an important milestone in your journey at Dean Trust Rosebridge as we transition from Key Stage 3 to Key Stage 4 to assist you in making these important decisions. On Thursday the 25th of February, a pupil progress and options evening will be occurring. This will give all pupils and parents an opportunity to discuss potential subjects with class teachers. Following on from this, on the week beginning of the 1st of March, pupils will have an opportunity to sign up to taster sessions. Between Monday the 8th and Friday the 12th of March, pupils will have an opportunity to experience possible option subjects that they may want to take moving forwards. We do not want you to rush this decision. You will have a week to submit your form and this will begin on Monday the 15th to Friday the 19th of March. Please submit your forms to myself during this time frame. Once option forms have been submitted, we will be holding discussions with individual pupils to ensure that they are on the correct pathways moving forward. Here at Dean Trust Rose Bridge, we are proud to offer a traditional but yet inclusive curriculum for all our students. The curriculum has been carefully designed to match the abilities, interests and aspirations of all pupils to fulfil the ambitions of pupils and carers for their children and to meet the requirements of further education providers and employers. The curriculum that we offer would be regarded as being broad and balanced. At Dean Trust Rose Bridge, we offer the four core curriculum values. Powerful knowledge, being a global citizen, healthy in mind, body and soul, and ambition and aspiration. All pupils who study traditional GCSEs here at Rosebridge will undertake these examinations at the end of year 11. All pupils will study the following GCSE subjects, English language, English literature, mathematics, science, and either geography or history. Pupils will then be able to select a further three option subjects. The form that you see on the screen is the form that will be mailed out to you over the next couple of weeks. This form will assist you in selecting the appropriate options moving forward. It contains information regarding the target grades for each of the subjects studied at Key Stage 3. As you can see on the form, we have given you your target grades for the end of Year 11, and these are calculated using your Key Stage 2 scores. Use this information to help you make your choices moving forward. The second part of the form needs to be returned to school between the dates of Monday the 15th and Friday the 19th of March. Within this form, please select a history or geography from one of the blocks. You can do this by indicating a one in the box for your first preference and a two as a reserve. Choosing the EBAT pathway at GCSE gives pupils access to a full range of employment options when they leave secondary school and the broad knowledge that employers are looking for. If you are considering going to university in a few years time, this is the pathway that we recommend for you. All pupils have the opportunity to study the EBAC. The EBAC stands for the English Baccalaureate. This comprises of English, Maths, Science, either History or Geography, and a language. So for us, that would be Spanish. The English Baccalaureate is extremely important because it allows you to show your academic prowess. This is highly sought after by Red Brick Universities. This range of qualifications allows you to develop the skills and knowledge that will support you in future study and employment. Please take your time when thinking about what options to take. If you know what job you want to do in the future, please choose the subjects that will best support it. Please ensure that you've discussed all possible subject options moving forward with your parents or carers. Over the coming weeks, you'll have an opportunity to undertake taster sessions, whether this be within school or online via Google Classroom. Once you have completed the form, please return the form to myself, either via mail or via email to the office account at Dean Trust Rosebridge. Please ensure that you return this form between Monday the 15th and Friday the 19th of March. Following on from the Friday the 19th of March, senior staff will make decisions on which courses are viable to run. Subjects may not be able to run if not enough pupils have selected them. Similarly, decisions will need to be made if courses are oversubscribed. So please ensure that you've returned your forms on time to avoid disappointment. If you have any questions regarding the pathways process, please direct any inquiries to myself, Mr Finnegan or Miss Ashurst in school. Remember, on the 25th of February, we'll have our virtual 
Parents Evening. This will give you an opportunity to discuss all subjects with your teachers. You can find details of all our courses on the school website. Year 9. You are now entering a really exciting and important time at Dean Trust Rosebridge. You'll be picking your options very soon and it is such an important and exciting time for you all. There are some vital aspects for you to consider. When picking your options, make sure that you pick subjects that you enjoy and subjects that you are achieving in. If you pick subjects that you're achieving in, you'll be more likely to succeed when studying these subjects. Also, make sure that you look at the videos that have been uh, distributed by your teachers, look at the information, study the information, and make sure if you feel that you'll be better with more coursework content as opposed to a written exam, then make sure you match your skill set with the qualifications. When Parents Evening arrives, make sure that you ask the right questions so that you can make the right choices with regards to your options. The words of Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. In English at Key Stage 4, you will study two qualifications. The first one is your English Language GCSE and the second is your English Literature GCSE. Your English Language GCSE is split into two papers. In the first one, you study unseen fiction and you also have a chance to write creatively through narrative or descriptive writing. Your second paper is unseen non-fiction where you look at two different extracts and in the second half, you again get to write creatively but you get to argue your viewpoint. In both papers, you study a range of different texts and different genres across the ages. Additionally to this, you will also do a spoken language endorsement as part of your language GCSE, in which you will have to do a presentation on a topic of your choice. For your literature GCSE, you will study a variety of texts. You will study Shakespeare's Macbeth, a gruesome story of ambition and manipulation. You will also study Dickens' classic A Christmas Carol, a story of change and transformation across time. You will also study An Inspector Calls, a modern play, a murder mystery story in which a family's truths are revealed. Finally, you will study poetry and this poetry will be focused on power and conflict where you will look at a range of different poems from different eras. As well as power and conflict poetry, you will also study some unseen poetry where you can show off your analysis skills. You will study both GCSEs side by side as the skills are transferable across the qualifications. Your English GCSEs will give you a deeper understanding of the world and the world's views. You will be able to study culture, religion and history all embedded into the different texts. Both qualifications encourage imagination and creativity. They are also essential for communication, social and language skills. They provide you with a firm foundation for whichever career you choose to explore. Here at Dean Trust Rosebridge, we've got a team of staff who are willing to help you and support you in whatever maths you need. They all have a passion for maths and want you to excel. But why study maths? Now you need maths in everyday life. No matter what you do, whether it be going to the shops or in your career, you will need a maths GCSE. Over the two year course, you will study five areas, number, algebra, geometry, ratio and proportion, and probability. These five areas will prepare you for your maths GCSE. You will complete one non-calculator paper and two calculator papers. These combined give you your maths GCSE. The maths GCSE is split into two tiers. These are higher in foundation. This means every child can achieve and succeed in their maths GCSE. All of you will leave with a maths GCSE. Your maths GCSE consists of three exam papers. There is no coursework and you will achieve a grade nine to one. Some of you will have the opportunity to study GCSE statistics. This consists of two exams, no coursework, and you will achieve a grade nine to one. This will run alongside the GCSE maths qualification. GCSE mathematics isn't an option for you. You have to study this. Now there are reasons why you have to study this. So we want to ensure that you get a grade four before you leave school. So you don't have to do this again at college. If you don't achieve a grade four, it will mean that no matter what route you choose, whether you choose to do A-levels, B-tech, apprenticeships, you will have to do maths again. 
no matter what you choose to do when you leave school, whether it be an apprenticeship, BTEC or A-levels, you need to have your Maths GCSE. It is a vital part and really, really important in your future. At Dean Trust Rosebridge, we study the Edexcel Combined Science course. At the end of Year 11, you will receive two GCSEs in science. The science course studies biology, chemistry and physics and is 100% examinations. In the summer of Year 11, you will sit six papers, two in biology, two in chemistry, two in physics. GCSE Combined Science course is split into two tiers of entry, foundation and higher. This means, regardless of a student's ability, they are able to access and progress well during the course. Combined science is a core compulsory subject, which means you have to study it. Even though it's compulsory, there are some really good reasons why it's important to study it. Throughout your two years of study at GCSE, there will be many opportunities to experiment and explore the practical size of science. There are 16 core practicals that you must cover to show that you have a wealth of skills. However, there are many more besides that we will do. You are never too far away from a Bunsen burner. GCSE Science has got lots of links with all the subjects you will study. Maths, Sports Science, Geography and many others besides. And will also support with your further study of any subject that you choose. Science, as well as studying topics and content, will help you to develop lots of skills that are really useful for college and beyond school and education. Things like logical thinking, data handling, making reasoned arguments and looking around at the world around you and asking why. AQA GCSE Spanish gives you the opportunity to build upon what you've learned at Key Stage 3. We develop your skills across listening, speaking, reading and writing, studying a whole host of topics ranging from technology, Latin American culture and global warming you get assessed across four skills of listening, speaking, reading and writing. It is equally weighted across the four skills of 25% each. There are three papers, your listening, your reading and your writing paper and then a separate speaking exam. This course allows every pupil to achieve and succeed. You could study either the foundation or the higher course. Do you aspire to be a confident, intellectual and sociable person? Studying languages will give you the opportunity to travel abroad, meet new people, learn about new cultures and may also give you the opportunity to have a career in another country. Teachers of this course are extremely passionate about the languages they teach, having lived and worked and experienced life in another country and the benefits that languages bring. Studying languages makes you a highly employable person. You could work in the hospitality industry as an interpreter or a translator, you could work as an intelligence officer or in a whole host of different jobs. The course is a GCSE in history. We study the Edexcel Pearson qualification and there are four units within that qualification. I'm passionate about history and I want you to be passionate about history as well. We begin the course with crime and punishment and we look at the different crimes, policing and punishments that have happened from a thousand years ago right up to present day. It's a really fabulous course and what I love about this course is the fact that we study topics such as Jack the Ripper and we look at the blood and the gore of Jack the Ripper and then we have debates on issues such as capital punishment and for and against the death penalty. So real good opportunities for you to give your opinions and to give informed reasons for these opinions. The next topic that we cover is the Anglo-Saxons and Normans and this is a really exciting topic because we start to explore how our country was invaded and controlled by another nation. So building on the work that you did in year seven with the Battle of Hastings, we look at how the Anglo-Saxons dealt with this control of this new nation. The third unit that we study is the American West and we begin to look at the lives of the nomadic Plains Indians and how their lives were completely transformed by the development of the West. So this is a, once again another really exciting topic looking at cowboys and Indians and their relationships but also how America became the country that we know it to be today. 
finally, this is a really exciting time for us in the history department because we are studying a brand new course. So this is America from 1954 right up until 1975. And what we're doing here is we're looking at the civil rights movement in America and how that created conflict at home. But we're also looking at the America's involvement in the war in Vietnam and looking how the impact of communism had an impact on the people who lived in America. Some of the key figures that we will study in this unit are Martin Luther King, the leader of the Black Panthers, Malcolm X, and also exploring the viewpoints and opinions of various leaders at the time, such as JFK and also President Nixon. History is a really well-recognised qualification. It's a solid qualification. It's one that colleges, employers, universities all recognise as being a fabulous qualification. It teaches you a range of different skills that are transferable from one profession to another profession. Archaeology, a lawyer, working within the police force, or even becoming a history teacher. Geography is a unique course. It allows us to study the environmental effects on humans and conversely the humans' effects on the environment. We have a keen focus on sustainability and climate change, all of which employers expect these days. Our exciting course is based on a balanced framework of human and physical geography and it allows students to investigate the links between the man-made and natural world. The GCSE course is a 100% exam based on three units. The first unit is living with the physical environment. It's 35% of the course and one hour and 30 minute exam. The content within the course is tectonics, the living world such as ecosystems with a focus on the Amazon rainforest and tropical storms. The second unit is challenges within the human environment. This once again is 35% of the course and the exam is one and a half hours. The content includes urban issues, the UK economy and challenges within the urban environment, as well as resource management with a focus on water. The third and final unit is 30% of the course and the exam is one and a quarter hours. This focuses mainly on geographical skills and the fieldwork which you will undertake through your Key Stage 4 course. You will do two types of fieldwork, one human-based fieldwork and one physical-based fieldwork. In the past we have taken students to Rill to look at coastal defences, Landudno to look at environmental quality, Sulphur Keys to look at land use and Clapham Beck to look at erosion rates downstream. Fieldwork is the opportunity to get outside of the classroom and apply our geographical skills and put them into practice. Further learning pathways are varied from A-level geography to A-level business to economics. In addition to this, possible university courses are degrees in geography, sociology, business and economics. Geographers are very employable due to the variety and breadth of our content. Careers span from architect, town planner to meteorologist and working in the Armed Forces Intelligence Corps. Choose geography. As Michael Palin says, geography students hold the answers to the world's problems. We offer Religious Studies GCSE here at Dean Trust Rosebridge. This is a course for anybody who is interested in wanting to work with, understand and find out about other people and how they live. Not only will you cover two religions in depth equally, both Christianity and Islam, from a perspective of both beliefs and practices, you will also look at other ethical topics such as marriage and family life, peace and conflict and crime and punishment. At the same time, you will be honing your skills such as understanding, empathy, evaluation, analysis, reflection and expression. Religious studies isn't just about finding out about religion. It's about making sure that you are ready to engage with and get involved and thrive in our increasingly multi-faith, multicultural global community. The skills developed during this course will lead you into careers such as police force, law, medicine, social work, teaching and even the armed forces. This GCSE will be assessed with two one hour and 45 minute exams. Here at Dean Trust Rosebridge, we also offer the Citizenship GCSE. Citizenship Studies is about how people take an active part in our democratic process, work together for a better society, locally, nationally and globally. This GCSE gives students the opportunity to learn about power, democracy, the operation of the government and the legal system, and the role of the UK in the wider world. You will also experience taking part in citizenship action and learning from trying to make a difference yourself. The skills developed in the Citizenship GCSE can lead to jobs in the Secret Service, in the Police Force, media and journalism, campaigning, 
and politics. The Citizenship GCSE will be assessed through two one hour and 45 minute exams. Paper 1 is showing your knowledge and understanding of the course and Paper 2 is showing how you can apply your knowledge and understanding to real life issues. The course on offer is a GCSE in Fine Arts. While studying your GCSE there will be two separate components. The first component will be coursework and portfolio which is worth 60% of your overall grade. The second component will be an externally set exam which will be worth 40% of your overall grade. There are a variety of reasons why you should study the Fine Art GCSE. The reason to take this course is so that you can be creative and express yourself. During the course throughout year 10 and 11, you'll be able to choose your own specialism of what you would like to work in. Now that ranges from spray paint, drawing, painting, to digital artwork and sculpture. The qualification is ideal for those who are interested in industries such as art, architecture, design, fashion, and a lot more. Studies have shown that due to how creative art is, it can actually improve your academic achievement in other subjects. Applied technology builds on what you have learned in art and design technology in year nine. The applied technology course gives you the skills you need to produce creative and imaginative products. You will be given the opportunity to develop your skills using a range of materials and processes. Working with wood will be your main material and you will be able to develop this using carpentry skills. With the products that you develop, you will be able to change materials when appropriate to make your desired outcome. You will receive a GCSE qualification on completion of this course. This course is split into two components. Component one is your portfolio, which is worth 60%. This is the coursework component in which all project work from years 10 and 11 is marked as a whole. Component 2 is the external assessment which is worth 40%. This is an externally set assessment which begins in the January of year 11. Pupils respond to a theme set by the exam board which will have a number of suggested starting points, one of which the pupils must choose. This project has a time limit and must have an outcome generated during a period of controlled assessment. By taking this course, you could move into a career of design, architecture and construction. In this course, you will spend a lot of time in the kitchen, creating practical dishes, learning about different ingredients. You'll learn a wide variety of different skills related directly to different sectors of industry and hospitality. In this oversubscribed course, there are two components of study. Component one is an externally set written exam, which you have the opportunity to complete in year 10 and in year 11. Component two is made up of coursework and an internally marked practical exam. This is a perfect course for you if you really enjoy cooking, being in the kitchen, learning how to make new and exciting dishes, and you want to learn more about where this could take you in a career or an industry beyond school. Ex-pupils that have studied this course have gone on to earn apprenticeships in top hotels in the city. The course on offer is a BTEC in Digital Information Technology. The qualification is a really engaging, interesting, fun course that has got a strong component of um, creative design and technical knowledge. At the end of this course, you receive a BTEC, which is the equivalent of a GCSE. It's a level one slash level two qualification, and the grading is from level one pass right up to level two distinction star. This qualification is ideal for learners who are interested in a career in IT. It's a fantastic stepping stone into careers such as IT project management, IT technical support, and cybersecurity. This course is assessed through 60% coursework and 40% exam. Three components. Component one requires you to design and create a multimedia product using Microsoft PowerPoint. Component two requires you to collect and interpret data using Microsoft Excel. Component three involves a written exam, which is effective working practices. In GCSE Photography, you will learn lots of different concepts about photography. You will start off in year 10 by exploring lots of different skills and techniques on how to use the Canon cameras. 
Using these cameras, you will learn different camera handling techniques, such as how to adjust the aperture and different lighting conditions. You'll use your creativity and imagination to produce brilliant outcomes around different units of work. If you are interested in choosing GCSE Photography, you don't need to have any background knowledge. You will learn all about photography, different aspects and formal elements of photography and the different concepts that are used within this subject. The qualification you will be awarded is a GCSE in photography. In GCSE Photography, there are two components. Component one is coursework and a portfolio of work, which you will work on in year 10 and up to Christmas in year 11. This is worth 60% of your overall grade. Component two is the exam unit. This is an externally set task set by the exam board and you will receive this in January of year 11. You will spend a few months creating preparatory work and it will result in a 10 hour controlled assessment to mark the end of this unit. All your work will then be marked by your teachers and your marks will be submitted to the exam board for grading. There are many different industries that you could proceed into if you study GCSE Photography. These include film, TV, media and fashion. OCR Cambridge National Sports Studies is a level 2 qualification and is equivalent to GCSE level. This is a vocational style qualification which has excellent industry links to all PE and sport based careers. The natural progression for pupils post-16 are to study PE or sport at level 3, either through college or sport-related apprenticeships. You should pick this course if you are interested in any of the following. Developing and applying your knowledge of sport-related activities, officiating and leading others, exploring the sport industry and the impact of sport on our wider society, and developing strong leadership and interpersonal skills. The Sports Studies course is assessed over four units. These entail one written examination with 25% of your final grade and 75% will come from your coursework modules. Two of these units are heavily practical based with the final unit written coursework. The remaining 75% of your grade will come through written coursework and practical elements. In Performing Arts, the course that we offer is a BTEC Technical Award in Performing Arts. Whilst there's no written examination, you will be assessed through practical workshops, live performances and theory work. You get to develop the core skills that are required for a career within the performing arts industry. You take part in workshops with real theatre companies and you are definitely given the opportunity to perform in front of live audience as this is a requirement for the course. The skills that you learn in performing arts are skills that are essential in many different careers. Being able to stand up and speak and present confidently in front of people and being able to work successfully within a team are both qualities that are essential within many different careers. Performing arts is a really good basis for a career not only within the theatre but also within advertising, within the film industry, events planning and many other careers. At school I chose performing arts as an option and I went on to study performing arts at college and then at university and it's those experiences that I gained as part of those qualifications that allowed me to pursue my own career within teaching. In component one you're able to explore lots of different practitioners and theatre styles. Styles such as musical theatre and epic theatre and you're able to watch some live performances that include plays such as Blood Brothers and Billy Elliot the Musical. In component two you then move on to explore your own skills as an actor taking part in workshops and rehearsals which then lead on to an overall scripted performance to a live audience. Component three brings together the skills that you've learned in component one and component two, and you're able to create your own production, looking at different aspects such as costume design, set design, and lighting. You're then able to work together to create an overall final performance. In music, we aim to inspire and educate you to be the best musician and performer possible. In BTEC Music, you will be given lots of opportunities inside the classroom and outside the classroom. You will become proficient on your instrument, you will master new skills, deepen your knowledge from Key Stage 3 and become ambassadors of the music department. You need to be confident on your instrument or in singing. 
You will have the opportunity to access instrumental lessons. BTEC Music is an engaging, exciting topic that is very practical. It will also help you develop your confidence, your teamwork skills, your ensemble skills. By choosing this course, you will be well on your way to achieving success in the performance industry. By joining our faculty, you will be taught by enthusiastic, experienced teachers that will help you gain fantastic outcomes and develop your love for the subject. BTEC Music is a modular course that is broken down into four assessments. 75% of the course is coursework performance based and 25% of the course is an external exam. Due to the continuous success of the faculty, we now have previous Rosebridge pupils leading the way at prestigious schools in London. The health and social care sector remains one of the biggest employers across the UK and this BTEC in health and social care will give you, as a learner, the opportunity to develop sector specific knowledge and the key skills whilst learning in this practical learning environment. The main focus of this course is on four areas of equal importance. Development of key skills that prove your aptitude in health and social care such as interpreting data to assess an individual's health. It will allow you to explore processes that underpin effective ways of working in health and social care, such as designing a plan to improve individuals' health and well-being. It will allow you to explore the attitudes which are considered the most important in health and social care, including care values that are vitally important in the sector, and the opportunity to practice them within school. Throughout the course, you will gain knowledge that underpins effective use of the skills, the processes and attitudes in the sector such as human growth and development, health and social care services and factors affecting people's health and well-being. For exploring these four areas you will study three units. Two of these units are internally assessed, whilst the third one is an externally assessed set piece. A BTEC in health and social care lends itself to progression into a range of careers. This includes midwifery, working as a health visitor, working in the early years as a practitioner or a teacher, or working as a nursery worker. The Cambridge National in Child Development covers all aspects of child development and parental responsibility, from conception to five years old. You will develop an essential theoretical knowledge and practical skills needed to create the best conditions for a child development and well-being. This exciting course is covered through three units of study, Two of these are coursework based whilst the third one is a written examination. The first unit of study underpins all the other learning within the qualification. You will develop the essential knowledge and understanding of the different stages from reproduction, antenatal care, birth and postnatal provision. In the second unit of study, pupils will gain knowledge of the equipment needs of babies and young children. This will be at home and within a nursery setting. You'll also explore the nutritional needs and hygiene practices needed to keep everyone safe. In the third unit of study, pupils will gain an understanding of the developmental norms from birth to five year old and the stages and benefits of play. This qualification lends itself to progression into a range of careers. This will include midwifery, being a health visitor, early years practitioner or teacher, working within the nursery, a carer, or if you would like to become a speech and language therapist. If you have any questions regarding the Pathways process, please direct any inquiries to myself, Mr Finnegan or Miss Ashurst in school. Remember, on the 25th of February, we'll have our virtual Parents' Evening. This will give you an opportunity to discuss all subjects with your teachers. You can find details of all our courses on the school website.